doubt that the Greetings Final Fantasy... Greetings and salutations! What's poppin'? Hey, hey, welcome everyone me. to a brand new episode of Bound and Broken Stained Glass. Uh, we're on episode 3. And also everybody, welcome back. We are back at it again. It is Act 4 time. Officially sponsored by mm. Heatap. Oh? Nani? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Into European? It's a uh, reference to... It's fine. <laughs> oh, it's my <laughs> angel. Bye, Prison wall. Prison wall. All right, who's giving me the recap? I got you, bossman. Okay. Let's throw up a little bit of some. There we go. Minimum tunes. Whenever the tunes load. That's yeah, fine. Uh, for those watching on YouTube and maybe confused. Go watch Sagas and Solace, the Severed Thread, episode 23. That covers the beginning of our crossover with them. And then watch Broken Solace, episodes 1 through 3. Uh, this session takes place after those events. Just in case the YouTube playlist is a little out of whack. There's your warning. Perfect. Music playing. The spirit of a man is weighed not in his deeds, but in his reactions to deeds against him. Those are words my father spoke often. A cruel joke I had believed for a long time. That was the folly of complacence. I now believe that I know better. The worth and reflection of a man's character and its impact on those he loves are the core of this. Yet still, our time with the Carnelian Circle proved enlightening. Illuminating corners of Corvanus and Verum itself I didn't yet know to be fearful of. Colors, stories, the seven, the enemy. Tear. The full extent of this sickened garden we call our home, rife with invasive species, held by leashes whose tension is tested day after day. The intensity of revelation is balanced by the progress of hope. A second acorn, a world seed, they said, was gifted to the Silver Stir, the group currently tackling the challenge of the Stillborn Grove. The Circle gifted us information on the East, and a connection to the Barrow King's court. They gave word of an epitome, a king of toads. They shared secrets of the Antvanti Ancients, and revealed the reignition of the Circle of Dreams, and the Druidic partnerships with the Fae. Gracious for this bounty of needed information and the beginning foundations of a partnership, uh, we agreed to ensure that the rebels delegation sent to speak with them will have patience and authority, and that we would stay in touch as we progressed our own story of Leylinic balance in the East. It is soon time to return to the city. Reports made and secrets shared of necessary evils and embers of hope. And now we're here, I think. Alright, well done. Well done. Inspiration for you. Ooh, uh, since I've given that out. Brew, does inspiration stack with legacy? Because I currently have one legacy. Uh, no. No. Can I give inspiration to a party member who doesn't currently have it? Uh, sure. Who ain't got inspo? Me. Hey. Yeah, I mean... Si awesome. Simon said it first. There you go, Simon. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. gain one inspiration. Yeah. Yes, good. I guess. It's mine. Yeah, you can't use it, you fuck. <laughs> All right. So, as the magics fade, um, that teleported you back. Hold on, let me see. Where did... Actually put you? Okay, it's just back wherever you want it. So, uh, where I presume the city of glass is where you'd like to go, yes? Uh, yes. Okay. Mm. Yep. As I suspected. Mm. Okay, in that case. 
The magics of teleportation fade around you. The strange stone veneer of the sanctuary left behind. Deep earth replaced with fresh air, harrowing wind, and the smell of the jungle to the south. Combining with the coast, you once again find yourselves in the City of Glass once more. The same distant melodies of their harps, the thrums of the people that live there. Oblivious, it would seem, the dangers of this world. Alright, what do you guys want to do? Uh, Fane would turn to the party. Uh, what, uh, what time of day are we at? Uh, it's noon. Noon. Uh, you sort of turn to everybody, looking them over. Um, I will put in word to, uh, seek a meeting with Archdrude Leto. We have learned quite a lot from the Carnelian Circle, and... I believe the relevance of such things should be brought to his attention before he has uh, finished gathering the energies needed to send us to the east. Um, we should redouble our efforts on researching the east. Uh, cultural methods, historical records. If we do meet the Sparrow King and we opt for that route, we should know how to address him in an official manner. Many things were uncovered, and our path is clearer, but there's still a few brambles to navigate. Well, I'll have to leave that research to all of you. I am still in the process of studying the uh, Entente language. Uh, it will be quite some time before I get it down. Bane will not. It should prove useful. If his court is just those that are reanimated, there may be Aunt Vanti in their ranks. And knowledge and ease of speaking should prove a great boon. Um, it is early. Or... Uh, New allies should still be waiting. If any of you think of preparations that they, they need to be notified of, uh, do make it known to them at your earliest convenience. Still, we have some days left. There is still work to be done. I can take up the research, um, or I seem to be better on books anyway. This, I may need some time to uh, shop around for a few things, so... Well, I have two things to do. I'm waiting for my shipment of puppies first, and second, I'm researching on the Adventi songs. There's an answer there, read the, the ancients. I might have to look onto it. Fain will nod. Um, could you use your uh, connection with Lander uh, to acquire uh, clothing, garbs befitting of a court? Again, if we are to meet with this king in some capacity, I would rather we seem an official delegation than a ragtag group of adventurers. Well, since we're always so great at making a fine entrance, aren't we? Hmm. That's exactly my point. Uh, I believe Lander would have access to sh uh, foreign shipments and shipments throughout Corvanus if he was indeed dealing with the Carnelian Circle at Moazgadon. Which is why I will rely on you, Simon, for this. All right. Thank you. Uh, 
that is language, as knowledge. There are spells to learn. We still have our uh, shipments that I believe the rebels helped us bring up from the Coast of Souls. Uh, before we set out, we should work to distribute these amongst us and our new companions. As for learning spells, I've got that covered on my own and for myself already, but a um, couple of things. Uh, we should take some time, or rather I should take some time to uh, imbue your shadows with spells at some point. If you have any particular ones in mind, uh, feel free to ask. Hmm, that's a good point. I will think on it. Uh, I'll see you'll get the most utility out of an extra spell or two in your pocket. Uh, there are spells that... Uh, actually, uh, Caspian, can you imbue Sticky Ones spells into a shadow? Hmm. I don't believe they are my own. Um, I could learn them, perhaps, but... Uh, so, a few hours, mm -hmm. I suppose. Mm -hmm. I suppose it would require pulling your concentration. Uh, having Elsie, or giving Elsie the capacity to climb, as we did before, was quite, quite the boon. But I suppose we shall always have Sticky Wand with us for that service. Mm. Uh, other than that, um, your spells in that manner do not provide exposure. Is that correct? Only upon the initial casting, I suppose, but mm. it fades soon enough. And if we don't um, overload ourselves here, it will fade before we leave. We have days. Um, and we have resources. I mean, we know that is true. Citizen lack purging potions. Mm. I, I would suggest that each of us holds on to ascending. Should we get separated or uh, crucial information is needed to be spent uh, while scouting, etc. It's a fine idea. Uh... He will breach out and imbue Shadow with Sending. Fane <laughs> will nod. Uh, He'll be the I'll... first. I'll, throughout the day, imbue the rest of you. Uh, Sounds good. Medicinal magic is always good to have. If we had a lot more of those, the fight, the fight against the knight will have been relatively easier. Indeed. Uh, I will go about sending word to uh, Imperate Leto with the information we have gained, and then begin learning on some spells I believe should be useful. Um, spend your time wisely. It is about two weeks, 13 days, until we depart. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. There's a grove to the east of the meat bucket. It's where I intend to be spending a lot of my time. If something is needed, expect to find me there. Yes. Um, well, I suppose I'll be studying, but once again, once you have your ideas on what you wish your shadows to contain, drop by. Uh, as long as there's an hour between the spell casts, I can shrug off most exposure. Nodders. I don't know. Bane will set it. Uh, and I will make a quick list of the information I will be imparting onto Archdruid Leto. Okay, so now we're entering the uh, downtime portion, which um, much of it has already been allocated outwards, so 
uh, for chat's sake, if people want to go over stuff that they bought, did, or wanted to research over the time, you can do so now. So that way, chat room's caught up. And then anything else that we need to do in session, we'll do that now um, and get that out of the way as well. Uh, sure. Uh, I'll start. I got a tier 6 staff made. Uh, it is made of quartz, engraved with a beast cut emerald uh, with the royal cut. Uh, it has no constant exposure and gives me Beast Lord's Command. Whenever you summon a creature with the Fey, Elemental, or Animal type, all enemies adjacent to you and the square in which you summon these creatures uh, suffers 2d6 force damage. In addition, you may use one of the attacks of your summons instead of your normal attacks when you take the attack action. Which is pretty sweet. And I'm learning a plethora of spells which will all be added to the wiki after session. Alright, next. Uh, uh, go ahead, Joseph. No, you go. Nah, nah, nah. Okay. Uh, I got a half plate with Chimera and engraved it. Uh, it's special. Pro it's called the Chimera Signifier Mail. It is a masterwork. It grants resistance to thunder and lightning, a glide speed of 60 feet, and Spell Surge, Pride. Whenever you would cast a spell that targets only yourself, you gain temporary HP equal to the spell level, plus your proficiency modifier. Very cool. Uh, I learned Booming Blade Dispel Magic, and I got a Longsword with Parry and Duel and an Impale. That's all I did for this. And I got the Bracers of Armor. That's that's what I did in total since we got to the City of Glass. And, yep. Well, uh... Let's see, uh, I have picked up a whole bunch of spells, uh, I won't go and list out of all of them because they are many, um, I have also acquired a few potions, uh, picked up, uh, the order we had for, or well, I had for the Masterwork Heavy Shield, with the Glider Spike probably, and apart from that I've been learning Ont. Very good. Next. Mm, I upgrade my claws and bite to a tier 6 with bounding thunder flux and lightning flux. And I enchanted the the cloak I got from Suckles. <laughs> but... Why you gotta say it like that? From Suckles. Suckles. Mm. Um, it's the Brute Mother's Grace now, where once per combat when I would be hit uh, critically, I can ignore the crit, and uh, I gain 25 temp HP until the end of next turn. Very good. Anyone else? Um, sadly, all I got was a piece of scale mail with a uh, tier 6 steel will into it, which will allow me to add its current armor rating to any wisdom saving throw I make, which should be pretty good for me. I mean, yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's, it's gonna have to be all like, Un unfortunately. Unfortunate. Unfortunately, that's oh. all I got. Like, what? <laughs> Well, Unfortunate. I'm mundane. I can't really do much. <laughs> okay. Monday. All right. That's fair. Yeah. Yaks and scorpion pull twice a turn. Uh, isolation assassinates. Super stealth. You know. Yeah. Unfortunate. Get get over here. Shoots it in the head with an arrow. Yeah. Unfortunate. All right. Anyone else? Demon perhaps? Don't think so. I'm waiting for the <laughs> No, <I'm thinking. laughs> Okay. All right, so we got all that done. Um, everybody's locked in all their stuff, so now we'll do all the uh, roleplay specific stuff that needs to be done. Um, Simon is waiting on a shipment of Poppy, so we can do that first. As that will require some roleplay 
a second. Oh. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. I will also copy paste the uh, the list of spells into our notes, okay? I don't think any of them are uh, inaccessible, and all of the prices are listed with the times. Alrighty. I do like efficiency. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we just took a three-week break. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> wasting time here. I'm, I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. Unleash him. Unleash him. Could I learn Featherfall here? Is that a thing I can get here? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I still have some gold left. I, I'm looking at stuff that I might get in a time. The only person who knows Featherfall is Suggles, and you had to be nice to him. That's terrible. I, I, still, I don't believe that he he falls like a feather ever, anywhere. Oh, the only one in the city. That's why he He's has the spell. spell. It's a. That's why he got the spell. So the spell won't the spell won't help him. Oh, I see. <laughs> He's too thick. Oh, it's a roleplay oh, spell in case anyone falls for him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, oh, very good. Oh, the misery. <laughs> I don't know why that's stuck in my head. A O A. Oh, and uh, Guild Merchant Wise, you guys have Zazanti and. <laughs> Sorry, Emilia. Ugh, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Who are, I believe, 500 gold per month for Amelia and 250 for Zazanti. Okay. Was it 200 for first level spell or 150? 100. 100 for first and cantrips, um, uh, and then 100 per spell level. I see. Okay. I do believe. Do you? I do declare my biscuits is wavering. Here we go. And we have some roleplay to do. Give me just a second. But everybody over here. Because eventually, whilst Simon is waiting on his poppy shipment, um, the girls of Lander's servants will come and inform him that somebody is here to see him. Someone from Flanderton. Hmm. All right, and I will load the map for you. Oh, it's not easy being a millionaire. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> not easy being being a millionaire, yeah. More wine, please. More. Please, please, please. No flash photography. <laughs> no, no flash photography. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know why that tickled me so much. Alright, I actually have a uh, theme for Simon now. So I'm gonna go What's ahead. And, yeah, yeah. Nice. I I tried to update a lot of my music with stream safe stuff, so hopefully, you know, this will safe. Uh. <clears throat> I wanted to add more to everything. <laughs> okay, so whilst at the sopping head, uh, the soppy handshake, you are waiting for uh, the representative from Flanderton. You hear that? Yes, I do. Okay. Oh, 
like the mood? <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a classic song, actually. <laughs> people, people should recognize it. All right, and the individual that approaches you, Simon, is this guy. Mm, I see, I see. You guys see. He will approach, and he will um, give a salute to the chest, a very militaresque one, and he will give a short bow. I have uh, come for the one known as Simon. I have been told that you are him. Is that true? That is indeed true, my friend. I am him. Very well. You will see that he pulls out a rather large-looking parcel. Such an order of so much poppy required... Requires what? He takes a moment to pause, and he, as he says, such a shipment required more specialized protection, hence why I have been sent. But I will admit that my purpose for being here is twofold. The Dons of Flanderton not only wish to make sure that this shipment made it all the way to the west, but they wish to know whom has sent it. Regular avenues were not obvious. Who are you, good sir? The Dons would like to know of whom they are dealing with precisely. Well, if you want to know, I'm, I'm the Bard, influencer, Diamond Water, son of Lander. Son of Lander? Yes. We had heard that the old rat had taken on a protege. Seems that it's true. Lest you would not be here in the soppy handshake unescorted. Very well. He will then pull out the parchment, or excuse me, the parcel, and then he will hand it to you. Mm hmm, let's see. You may check the contents if you wish. You will see that it is all there. All right, as you, uh, do you check the content of the package? Uh, yes. All right, you take a quick cut off the top of the parchment. You look inside. You can see that the processed poppy is put into small, uh, singular pouches, all wrapped together under a larger par uh, parcel and parchment. So essentially, you see a bunch of tiny little parchment baggies wrapped and tied into one large kind of cubic block. Opening one of them to test the contents, it is a high quality grade A poppy. You almost fall unconscious just from a singular sniff. It's good stuff. Anthony will nod. I hope that you will find good use for it. And the payment? Oh, of course, of course, yes. Hmm. Um, do I know the, how much it is? It? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was no more I'll pay. I, it, was, it was 500 gold. I have gold. money. It was 500 gold. 5 gold? 500 gold. Oh, 500. Oh, that's nothing. Here you go. Yes, a little extra for you. Yes, that's for yes, you. Yes, five hundred gold pieces worth of gold is a, a lot of drugs. That's a lot of drugs. An exceptional amount of drugs. <laughs> All right, at least for one person. Um, as you take that, he'll put that away, and then he kind of lingers for a moment and says. I cannot help myself but as to be curious. As, as you want. It's your house. All my, all the people here respect it and 
appreciate it in a deep way. He will be stunned by what you just said. I... <laughs> I'm not sure I get what you mean. But... Don't worry, you don't but... need to. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> So you just saying weird shit, and it's like, it's like what the fuck? Uh, he, he, he will respond with... Lander has, yeah, long since, Lander has long since been a solo operation. We find the inaction of an apprentice to be something most interesting to the Dons. We have long since held an alliance with the West specifically of Lander's position. Being the only Dawn in the West is quite a potent, powerful position to be in. For him to take a protege, I have been sent with an additional mission from my superiors. We only wish to know, does he have any plans to expand his operations? Hmm. That I know of, um... Uh... Does he, does, does Lander tell me something about that or no? Well, he, okay, so if you remember the last time you spoke with him, uh, it's been a while, so I'll, I'll refresh your memory. There's, um, mm -hmm. so what this guy is saying about expansion, it could mean a lot of different things. Um, most notably, the natural insight that Simon has is he means criminally. Now, you don't think Lander's has any plans to expand criminally, but certainly through other avenues. As he spoke with the, the Sagas and Solace people, um, he spoke mm -hmm. to you about putting you in, in charge and doing more things, and also your own ambitions rep represent him as well. So it's about how you want to uh, navigate this social setup here. Basically, the question he's asking is heavy, and he's watching you very carefully for your response. I mean, I'm following his step. I'm just making a bigger family, that's all. I don't see a problem in that. I mean, oh. it's, uh, it's, it's our own will to be better. Bigger. I did not mean to offend. It was not my intention to state that you cannot do this. The Dons are simply interested to know what your plan is. They are, as I'm sure that you will understandably know, interested in what your plans and the plans of your father will be. For their businesses, of course. Hmm. Certainly, I, can, I could talk to the old man. After all, it's his choice, but... Hmm. Personally, yes, I think there's we do we we've been doing new stuff, trying new places, new new buyers. If that's what you mean, is is this gonna make an insight? Figure out. The man will keep his poise and position, will watch your words very carefully, and then he will nod. That will suffice. I believe that my superiors will be satisfied to know that your expansion is limited to the local area. I would hope that should you have any plans of pressing out of the Misted Lens, 
that you will meet with the Dons first to establish expectations. Of course. Yes, of course, of course. And maybe in the future I could visit, visit the Dawn and talk about our plans. If they may happen. Of course. The man will then give a deep bow. I thank you for your time. And I hope you enjoy the poppy. <laughs> for sure, I will. Arcadon, if I'm understanding right, they are like rivals of him. No, it's it's, it's so it's it's kind of like I mean, rivals is kind of more of a stronger word to use. It's nobody's running criminal operations in the West because it's a jungle, but Lander found a place for it, right? Mm -hmm. And the other Dons run their criminal enterprises throughout different areas of Corvanus, and they are separated by territories. Nobody messes mm -hmm. with anything in the West because that's where Lander operates. Yes. Um, but they all have to work together in order to make sure that the black market has a clean line of logistics. So it's more so any sort of manipulation of that balance causes them to be nervous. And since we're in medieval times, news travels slowly, but it seems that news has finally reached the Dons that Lander, who has had no children and has obviously offered no, you know, no sense of himself to, to mm -hmm. expand by adding new lieutenants or anything like that, has now suddenly adopted a son. That's, that's something that's very important for them. See, because the other Dons don't know that he's a dragon, so he's a big fat guy who's aging, right? They're just waiting him out. Yeah, But if he names an apprentice, if he names a son, someone to inherit his empire, I see. that's a big problem. You see what I mean? But now, yeah, now, I see, no. yeah, now this threat, which is only going to be maybe five to ten years in their mind, <laughs> is now a full new 40, and that's a problem, right? So I'm the threat. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They, they don't know anything about you also, so... It's it's prudent of them to learn who you are, because in their mind, if Lander dies and you take full control, they want to make sure that they're messing with somebody that that they know of. That they you see what I mean? Like it's all about balance and familiarity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 pretty much it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's why. Remember, they don't know he's a dragon and that he's not going to die anytime soon of old age. They don't know that, though. So, yeah. One of those things. Okay, so back to the City of Glass. Uh, we've finished your roleplay bit. I presume that you have plans for the um, copious amounts of drugs that you just purchased? Of, of course, of course. Presuming that you're not just going to use them yourself, do you have any other plans with them? Your your Keys silence for my is weapon. your silence is very unnerving. <laughs> well, you said I can use it for my weapon. Y yeah, yeah, but that's like yeah, yeah. like you bought like a hundred charges. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have I have a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll make use good use. <laughs> All <worry>. right. <laughs> okay. So, sounds like that internet purchase that arrives late when you've forgotten about it and you're like, ooh. It is so many drugs. It's dude. so many. It's so much drugs. All right, I'll be right, I'll be right back real quick. Right, bathroom, bathroom. So I'll be right back. Two seconds. Oh my god. I think I Lander is not, he's not going to die of old age. I think that's <laughs> his least problem. <laughs> they don't know, though. No. You might die from, I don't know, stroke or something, heart failure. Yeah. Yeah. Can dragons even overdose? <laughs> <laughs> I bet he's tried. He said probably. <laughs> no. He did almost choke on... what was it? Yes. Yes. Um, 
What was it again? He was eating something? He was definitely eating something. He's yeah. always eating something. <laughs> oh, I think it was like a chocolate. Because remember a box of chocolates being there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My god. Jesus yeah, it's a lot of drugs. I can see why they're nervous. And <laughs> 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 now I understand. Bro, you got With that much drug, dog, you could Hundred uses. Adding the spells that were not in Fendry. I'm back. Okay. Welcome back. Back. So anybody else have some roleplay they want to do in the City of Glass? Uh, I would like to go speak to the Archdruid. Because as I was typing things out, there's a lot of, like, Druid information that I would like to actually roleplay it. Well, yes, but that's, like, main story stuff. Oh, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything other than that? I would probably go to the right people, just for a quick powwow and possibly see if I can acquire some more salts. Okay. Simon. Elsie arrives. <laughs> <laughs> what? Who, who arrives? Elsie. Oh, yeah. Elsie, <laughs> he's the leader of the right people now. <laughs> oh, sweet hellfire. <laughs> oh, hi, Why do you have Elsie. that many drugs on you? <laughs> What drugs? <laughs> Just poppies. Yeah. I... yeah, poppies usually a drug. I can smell it all the way from over here. I've just walked in the fucking door, for Christ's sake. I don't know who this Cryus is, but... Fuck. I'm an alchemist, then. Don't judge. <sighs> I thought the term was drug addict, but whatever you say. Uh, uh, for, for science? Sure. Uh, apparently, you lead the right people now. In the West, not all of them. Yeah. Still, can't really go to the East right now. <laughs> yeah, I command all the West country. and their hearts also. Elsie is just gonna. Rub the bridge of her nose with such ferocity, you think she may actually break her own nose. Ooh, careful. <sighs> Alright. Alright, the list just makes this way a bit easier. Do you have any people who are willing to sell something similar to these? And I'm going to hold up some of the, uh, the salts that came with the obituary chain. I mean, if you want some, you can just ask. Well, I was intending to buy them before I knew that you, you suddenly became a Nepo baby, but... Seriously, you? Really? It's... <laughs> what are you so mad? Just chill. Just drugs. I... It's not the drugs I'm concerned about, it's... They're doing no harm to no one. I don't... With the greatest yeah. respect, man, I don't think you could lead your way out of, a wet, out of a wet sack. And now I have to... Uh... What? I was at least hoping for Lander, but fair enough. I was gonna Look, say I'm about just... any information... I'll see. I'm just following my dad's steps. I'm trying to learn the business, you know? What, from customer all the way up? Yeah. Yeah. Look, I have a little belly now. <laughs> I would like to inside check, see if he actually believes that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> He's following Lander's footsteps. He's got a little belly. Like, he's growing. That's what he means. This... Yes. <laughs> this is everything. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> what were you trying to insight? I'm sorry. I'm wanting to see if he's just pulling my chain or if he actually believes that. I'm going to treat it as an interrogation, so I add character level to it. Sure. Yeah, all right. <laughs> he believes that. <laughs> he, he 100% believes that. His death is all to him, so... It's the, it's oh, the sweet. promo, basically. Well... Uh, uh, this Elsie's still not right now. Hard words. None that isn't a sub incredibly offensive slur for your kind, but... I'm I'm happy for you. Just, you know, really happy for you. Inside chat. Oh. She's totally happy for you. You knew it. You knew that she was into you the whole time. Yes, absolutely true. Oh. Thank you. You've never been so nice. We'll see. Look at how excited she is that you're in power. Grin so wide, it's threatening to rip through her flesh. I still remember your little gift. Right in my stomach. This scar he gave me. I watch it every day. You wash it every day? I watch it every what? day. What? I remember the night. This was very pleasant memory. I threatened to disembowel you with a knife if you ever tried to do anything towards me. You can say whatever you want. But that's that kiss, pleasant. I may that break kiss break. we have, I will never forget, Elsie. The ecstasy was extreme. <laughs> the love was intensified. As the magic in everybody in the city when they turned to sleep. It's a sensation I never had before. It's an overdose of love. Maybe that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> and you think you can find that in your scar? Yes. It's a forever memory engraved in my body. I think the term's warning, but... Whatever floats the goat, I suppose. This is still this. It's once she's just gonna face palm again. Take a step back before the the stench of poppy overwhelms her. Once and why? It still applies. I think Pans, are you going to cast Sleep on Lander again? <laughs> See Comes with the line of work. I'll be fine. Besides, I kind of have a busy day. <sighs> really? You, the leader of the bright people? This... Ugh. I'm just doing my thing. Is Lander hiding somewhere? Does he really not want to meet me? Is this... <sighs> yeah, he's a busy guy. What, what can I say? He is, in fact, busy right now. That's why he's not here. Ah, fair enough. But he... Simon is you know the second in command, so, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Deal with it, I guess. I'm trying. <laughs> oh, screw you. 
All right. <sighs> sure, I'll take that glass of wine. I'm gonna walk over into the. There you go. And cheers. Serve you more. The, the moment she takes the glass from me, she immediately drains it in one, like it's a fucking shot. Sure, I'll take another. Yes. Ma'am. Excellent. Looks, look, that, that's better. Uh, I'm certainly making it go down easier. Well, I think that may be the booze kicking in. Is, uh, so you're. Oh, continue. sorry. Go ahead. I'm so, no, I'm sorry. Please, please go go right ahead. You say. So you're Lander's. More than Lander's adoptive son, you're his, it's effectively his actual son in terms of command and power. Yes. Yes, I am. Uh, what can I say? That's good for you, but it's going to be interesting, so to speak. I mean, if Lander has any... Something? Yeah, because I thought you were, like... Just... Elsie's just gonna cycle through Elvish in her head and just go... Yeah, oh, that's the translation. I didn't know... I thought you were just being a... A fraternal fuckboy, if I'm being honest, but... That's because I never had my dad. No, I have one. Never do I. You don't see me in drugs. Often, at least. No, I have a role model that I want to follow. It's a thing I always wanted. Oh, God. <laughs> and now I have it. And he has me. I'm very happy for you. Lander, I'm a little bit... I don't know how I feel about that, apart from slightly vengeful, but I think that'll pass in time. Good on you. So, Position of power. I think there's something that you need. Yeah. May I know what it is? I see you're a little nervous. Nervous? I can feel it in really? your voice. And your shaking legs. The moment you see that, you immediately see a flash of steel as Diamondback's Edge just comes out of a hidden sleeve. You must be hallucinating. Might want to secure that poppy and make it airtight. But yes, I did come here for something. And Elsie's going to bring out the... Uh, the Poisoner's Kit and one of the uh, rejuvenating salts that she got with from the Mefarians. Last time I talked to the right people, they had a uh, an assurance they'd be able to supply some interesting out-of-market things. And since you're now effectively through gritted teeth, she just says, "Get a leader." Yes, I need to come to you to get those because. Fain made an excellent point about having resources, but I'm also one of the few people, in fact, I am the only person in this 
cavalcade who doesn't use magic. So I have to operate through mundane means. And this is one of the workarounds. I can see that. Yes, your body's your weapon. No, my weapons are my weapons. <laughs> Do you need to refresh your course? It just slowly tugs on the habituator chain. Yes, yes. All right. What is... So you just want that. Yes. In all fairness, I was not expecting to run into you. Because, well... I was expecting someone else, so... Someone else? Yes, ideally someone who knew what they were fucking doing, Simon. I know what I'm doing. I'm not even gonna insight check that. <laughs> if you say so. Regardless, I just came here for those two things. Nothing more. Well, maybe... Maybe see, us, uh, see about some information regarding any word back at the Pale City. This, but this is more for curiosity's sake more than anything. Simon, as your capacity as second in command, you have access mm -hmm. to the information... <clears throat> Excuse me. To the information network that Lander has set up. Updates from the Pale City is that it is still embroiled in a civil war. There are reports of aberrations running through the streets. Oh. <laughs> There's aberrations running through the streets. That's worrying. That's... Yes, it is. Uh, not so you can tell, but Elsie is just fucking giddy behind her smile. The borrow face, so happy she could shit. Make me a um, make me an insight check there, Simon. <clears throat> Simon, you think that giddiness is for you, because you're here. Oh, shit. I can see your excitement, Elsie. Of course you're excited that I can help you. I'll gladly do so, so... You don't have to worry. I'll make it just for you. My little blondie. It's a good thing I got this wisdom, this steel meal. Steel. Fuck. <laughs> Can you speak properly? She's flustered! You got her! Okay, Elsie doesn't stab you in the tits. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're persuading for to. The, the... To get her to stab you? No, no, I think I said before, like. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. My little blondie, miss, uh... To see if she in indeed was blushing. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Perhaps out of anger, her face will flush with red. <laughs> Are you actually doing it, Elsie? <laughs> wow, that's interesting to hear. I was hoping that the people that sentenced me had been... Well, something had happened to them, but... Pale City in turmoil. Aberrations, you say? 
And I, that's actually very good news. And considering we didn't exactly leave on the best of terms. Well, I say we, the royal we, I. But I'll have to celebrate later. Of course. Well, now you can see that, I, that I'm useful. I know things. I know what I'm doing. I don't deny your usefulness. Just some of your choices. Gestures hey. to the uh, to the advent calendar of drugs you have in your your hands. Look, Elsie. I found a new choice in my life, and I need to make a lot of profit, so my guilt grows, my power grows, my dad is proud of me, that's my goal. Also, will not. Actually, I have something you can do, Elsie. So it's not so easy to you because I'm so handsome and everything, but I need you to research about Advanti songs. I need you to find the answer to free my dear serpent. The serpent that you saw, I assume you mean the one we found after we, yes. you know, fought that thing, of course. Yes, I felt her suffering, her pain. The moment I touched her, I feel we connected one being for a second. So I, I have the same goal to free her at least. And the answer is in those songs. Folklore, or is it anything specific? That's the only thing I know. It's in their songs. The Advanti songs. Alright. I can do that. But... I think you know the good thing about any business transaction is that nothing ever truly gets done for free. So, it'll cost you something. Mm hmm. Like I said, I was willing to pay for. The Elvish term, accoutrement, for these types of poisoner's kit and the bituator chain. I'll be happy to pay normal prices needed. If so desired, at least. That's a fair deal. No, I was going to continue to pay for them. Regardless, I've got the money to spend, and I'm going to be keeping a short supply so we can pay our two uh, allies for accompanying us on this journey. That shouldn't be too much. 
Yes, of course. Just keep anything of interest aside, and if you see any... Well, it's, uh, Elsie's going to pull out a few souls. I wouldn't mind an upgrade what? for these as well. Thieves tools. Oh. Okay. I'm getting better with them, but I would still need to be able to. I'm just gonna take them. Have an upgrade. Them. Yes, of course. I'll, I'll make them better. God. Don't you worry. You can trust me with your things. I think against my better judgment. I always have trusted you, Simon. All right. So we have a deal. You say you, but you say you trust or you don't trust? I trust, Simon. Okay, okay, okay. I trust. For sure, for sure. We can okay. shake hands now. I've got something a little bit better. Uh, hold on, just want to check something. If that would fucking load, that'd be great. It's really awkward, so I'll just roll it manually. And as you can see, my dear Elsie, I no longer have pockets. I learned from last time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Somehow I don't think you did. Uh, Does a 23 hit you, Simon? <clears throat> With money now. <laughs> With money? <laughs> Really? 23 AC? I can pay it. Are you spending money to stop her from hitting you? Okay, I'll just say... <laughs> it's only to use the climber's kit. It wasn't loading for me for some reason, so that's what I'm doing. Oh, uh, okay. And we'll just pull you okay, closer. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Oh, oh god. In that case? <laughs> don't pay, don't pay, don't pay. <laughs> <laughs> I can give you money. <laughs> uh, and then? As you feel yourself pulled closer, Simon, you feel yourself pulled off straight to your feet into the floor. Okay. With oh the greatest of respect. This okay. is purely for pleasure in the business transaction. Read any further for it, I will cast you with your own teeth. And before uh, Simon can respond, Elsie is going to full on kiss him on the lips. Whoa. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Yay! Took you long enough. <laughs> Took you long enough. <laughs> okay, that, that sells it. I'm ripping your clothes off now. You speak, I will slap you across the face and fade to black. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go over here now. <laughs> that's, uh, that's... Oh shit. One of Simon's numerous mothers pulled the curtains closed and the camera pans away. <laughs> 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 Which I don't that's know is a good thing. Slander <laughs> looks out the window of his carriage. Mm. I'm gonna have a grandson soon. <laughs> oh. Not the way Elsie's doing it. Don't clean uh, up. Uh. <laughs> he was I to get me creeping. Well, that I was weird. There was, I don't know if that was cute, weird, or disturbing. Okay. I can't decide. Uh, so I guess that's what we're doing in downtime. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, I do have one more thing I would like to ask. Sure. Uh, what's the role for size? A.K.A. Thou big Simon? Uh, okay, fine. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! This is go this is gold. This is everything I miss. Yeah. I have yeah. 
Here we go. Does Colossus want it rolled? Do you want it rolled? <laughs> it's a bad connection. See you, Bon! <laughs> See you, Bon! No! No! If you don't want, if you don't want it rolled, then fair enough. <laughs> he, no, he, he can't hear us. No, he lost, he lost connection. He lost it, connection. Was, it, was just, it was just that good. It's just breaking his internet. Oh, yeah. no. If you ever fuck so good, you lost hearing. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> he went deaf. <laughs> Hello? 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 Hola? Dima mi Simon? Dima mi Simon? Simon! No! Yes. That was incredible. <laughs> I actually watched Elsie go through the five stages of grief. Yep. <laughs> Denial? Bargaining? Anger? And then finally acceptance. That is crazy. Too much action for Discord. Jesus Christ, Colossus. Unfortunate that <laughs> Colossus lost his connection right then. Oh well, I guess really I, did I, the I, I, I guess we don't know. Uh, we and... might be able to move the server and see if we can get it <laughs> <laughs> for his session enjoyment, not for the coxes. Mm. For you, for your session enjoyment, and All right, I will move it to uh, Brazil. There we go. I'm saving changes. Prepare yourselves. Hello? 145 MS. Oh my god. Oh. Alright. The server is now in Brazil. Yeah. Oh, I... Oh, yes. I hear you. No, yes. Hey. yes. That's I moved the server to Brazil so that you can connect. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, there you go. Now so the question that everybody so wants. the question that Elsie asked <laughs> is, um, since she's at a front row seat to whatever's going on down there, do you want your genitals to be rolled? Uh, yeah, of course. Okay, <laughs> I figured you would. Yeah, but it's important to ask. What is your constitution <laughs> modifier, Simon? Uh, check. It's a uh, plus one. <laughs> plus one. All right, here we go. And Elsie has to tame. No! Inspiration. No! I have my inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Can I spend my point of legacy on this? Sure. You want to spend your point of legacy? I will re-roll it with a point of legacy. Wait, I'll do it, I'll do it. For Colossus, I don't care. It's Colossus sure. this is his moment. I, I'm sure. not letting my boy flounder. Go ahead. Did I say, I'll spend my point of legacy. Did I say micro penis? I meant. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> no! Hey, no! I have my inspiration yet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no! I don't think you can inspire you this. I think legacy, no, no, no. Is special. <laughs> legacy is special because it's a birthday 20. No. I'm sorry, Simon. Most the efficient point of legacy. I mean, it's, it's... The two millimeter destroyer. It's fine. It's no, fine. no. Yeah, it's not about Free. the size of the boat, after all. It's the motion of the ocean, right? Yes. Yeah, that's right. It's magic. I use magic. That's all. Yeah, I use magic. It's cool. It's fine. <laughs> and this is why I don't roll. <laughs> I'm just for pre-game, that's all. <laughs> I'm just pre-game! Oh, oh my god. Uh. I didn't know you could cast Grease. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna the least the best Okay, person. I'll stop, I'll stop. Oh, snut clarity disintegrated Simon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, My well, God. we'll leave that there while those two do something. Rock the sopping handshake. <laughs> yes, good. Good, very well. 
Um, would anyone else like to do anything during your downtime before we move on to Arch Druid stuff? Oh. Okay. Looks like everybody's locked oh. in then. Got everything locked in. Uh, let's go ahead and do the Arch Druid stuff and move some story along. Uh, Fane, are you taking anyone with you? Uh, it's an open invite to the party. Uh, it's up to them, but he doesn't yeah. insist on anyone joining. Sure. I just go back as well. Powerful. Can I say that's horrible to listen to when I'm on a call <laughs> with somebody? So I had to throw my headset off like midway through. <laughs> hey, that's yeah, free content. Also, we're down a point of legacy. Oh, fuck. You fuckers. Um, I spent it to give him an inch. <laughs> I hope he takes a mile with it. <laughs> that's, that's average, so don't worry. That's, that's average. That's average. That's average. That's average. That's average. That's average. It's fine, guys. Um, so, Fane and Caspian, anyone else want to speak to Boss Druidman? I'll join I'm, you there. I'm going with. I'm going with. Uh, everybody else who isn't fucking on Lander's ship. <laughs> I still remember when we first met Thunder. It was <laughs> I would, large, man. Now it's I would, I would like I would like to I would like to imagine that one of us didn't want to go, but then was like, oh, I'll I'll, I'll go to the I'll go to Lander's place and see what how Simon is doing. Goes there, sees no. absolute atrocities, and be like, they, oh they, no, yeah, 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 the Ash do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yep, you, yep. Yeah, you, you shouldn't call Elsie an astrocity. I feel like that's an insult. <laughs> she has an amazing yeah. ass. How dare you? You hear the screams of wildebeest <laughs> yes. echoing off of the, yep. the... <laughs> Then the wind picks up a little bit, and the curtains on yeah. the side blow, and you can get you get a little peek, and you'll yeah, no. just turns immediately turns around and then heads to the edge to it. It's like wow. What? He's never been happier to be a halfling. He couldn't see in the window. <laughs> <laughs> true, actually true. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and load this up. Put Simon and Elsie in, in uh, the corner and make them disappear. I am Frosis, the moistened. Yes. Big King Frosis. <clears throat> As a reminder, this is what he looks like. Oh! 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 oh. He's so majestic. I didn't. I didn't quite remember it. So so detailed. It's wonderful, isn't it? It is. Oh. I, I didn't quite remember it being so detailed. Indeed. <laughs> so th those eyes are staring down my soul. It's disturbing. Nice. Why am yeah. I so large? Why are you so big? Oh, I need to update my token. Uh, let me unlink this one so I don't break anything. And go... There you go. Damn. Uh, do this... Like... Did that work? Did not work. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. New token. N new token. Uh, I'll only show off the new fan art. That's what he looks like now. He's, He's so real tired edgy. of your shit. He's yeah. so edgy. Oh, well, we went to the fucking ass crack of nowhere. Meta dragon. He still has four strength. He's tired of your shit. <laughs> yeah, he put a shirt on because he lost the muscles. <laughs> Actually, the reason, yes. He is covered because he now has four strength. His definition his gone. His six pack is gone. His yeah, definition gone. His shirt. The abs are no more. His shirt returned. His definition gone. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. As you approach Archdruid Lecto, you will see that he is still somewhat recovering from the injuries that he received. <laughs> oh. From the injuries that he received the last time that you were here. 
you will see that he is currently standing before the glowing orb um, energy flowing in and out of it, sparking haphazardly, giving off the feeling that it is dysfunctioning in some way. Go ahead. Hmm. Uh, as we're approaching, can I run a quick medicine check on him to see if there's any lingering after effects of the orange? Sure. Da -da 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 -da. 22. Well, he certainly seems tired. Some of the lines of orange that once went through him left behind some barely noticeable scars. It seems that he has attempted to heal himself several times, but some things will not fade. Despite that, Lecto is hard at work, pouring over old druidic tomes, parchments, written on old leaves, trying to determine uh, trying to determine the truth of what actually happened here. No. Apologies for uh, disturbing your studies, Archdruid. We come with more information and to check in on your status. Slowly, the archdruid will turn, almost as if he did not hear you at first. Ah, yes, fame. Yes, good. He will go back to looking at his parchments. Hmm. Have you managed to uncover anything? I see you are hard at work. What is it you are researching? It keeps happening. Each time. Look, look, uh, look. He will hold up one of the leaves. Each time, one of my predecessors keeps trying to find something, and it is abandoned. I had never noticed it before. The pattern. Something sought, something lost. Repeated. Over and over. In will not. Um, the colors are a potent force, but one we must not linger on too long. Like staring in the sun, it will blind us. We have some new information that might guard your condition from seeking in sickened beds. He'll look at you we, with, attempt, uh, with rapt attention. We spoke to Merlo, the man who provided the acorn and the letter. All of us did. He has a potent uh, bardic lineage to him, and the song and message he uh, bestowed upon us proved to be one of a sort of teleportation. They hold sway over the dwarven city of Moazkadon. Though they act somewhat independent at times. They too are knowledgeable of the colors. And thankfully have already provided an acorn to those uh, that you sent druidic reinforcement upon the stillborn grove. It seems that this Merlo and his group are potent agents when it comes to attempting to solve Corvanus' issues. They provided a slew of warnings, particularly around the colors. It is a lot to portray, 
but I will do it lightly. The colors that you have seen, the uh, heel gesture to the stone, uh, somewhat indicating towards the end of it that had the scare through it. Uh, that color, and indeed the one that beset you, they are foundational, if you would call it that. Like before there was plant and air and water, they were the scaffolding of things. It is like, to look upon them could be like looking within a wound. Under skin is blood, under blood sinew and muscle, under muscle is bone, within bone marrow. Except the marrow of this world is dangerous. It is honest in its pursuit, in its identity, but it is overwhelming. As such, direct research into their facets we would warn against for now. There are pieces around such things that are safer to look upon. Safe. As such, safer. Safer to, yeah. safer to see. Safer I have seen. The magic old, broken, twisted, forgotten. My predecessors stopped, halted. Pieces I have seen. Through orange eyes, I have seen. An anomaly. An occurrence constant pattern look the pattern you will see on a piece of parchment um, there are druidic runes written in such a way that they depict a discernible pattern of behavior from each of the arch druids past it seems that each of them had increased activity near the peaks of their service that drastically fell whenever magics were used of the same kind. Magic of the dream. Each time. Each time. Interference. Each time. Mm. Something breaks. Something. Halts, guards the way. Old magic. Mm. Ancient magic. As he pulls out a piece of parchment that you see is actually made out of several other pieces of parchment that he has painstakingly mended together. I have found it. A way to travel the ley lines. To find the anomaly. Uh, you will see um, that the magic is quite potent. Um, Arcana check to identify it. Yes, sir. Damn. Mm. Anyone else have Arcana? Uh, no, I don't have religion on the inside. Nope. Nope. Okay. Unfortunately, Fane, you are unable to identify the spell but you are able to see that it is a conjuration spell beyond your capacity to cast. The other, Caspian, you will mm -hmm. notice not the spell itself, but the destination programmed within it. Bear the markings that you did not expect. For in the midst of all these Corvin runes and writing, uh, almost like chicken scratch or the musings of a child you see Calcateshian script elegant and precise mm. woven within it something inside tells you that there is a presence of the dream within it mm. the Inconsistent in, in a script. Where does it originate from? Lecto will respond. Predecessors. 
each piece as he points to each of the different pieces. Each one discovering a different path. Thrown away, discarded, forgotten. With orange eyes, I saw them combined. The anomaly waits at the end. Indeed, mm. this has much to do with at least this portion, with the destination and the dream. And sort of uh, points our uh, finger before uh, pulling his hand back. We must, we must discover the anomaly. We must know why. Um, your predecessors, how long did each serve before landing upon this conclusion? Twenty, thirty years. Then mm. we'll side eye Caspian for a second and then look back. While speaking to those within Moaz Kadan, we learned of a circle of dreams. One denied to Corvanus. A circle lost. Another lost circle was mentioned of fire, but... Dream seems more relevant. It seems that their druid, animated through the actions of the Barrow King, has used one of these acorns to... Open a grove within the Twisting Pines. That action opened a uh, another circle, if you will, within the dream, as it acts as a gate between such things. That dream circle is overseen by a fae named Clover, who acts as a, a steward of sorts. From point A to point B. Is it possible that the dream chamber that we have below the city was one such place, but now is without a steward? Possible. Possible, yes. Dreams intertwine, speak, whisper, shadows of each other. The anomaly. The anomaly will know. The anomaly is the key. Mm. His eyes are not shattered, but they are wild. Mm -hmm. Lecto this... seems almost to be as if he's a drowning man. Mm -hmm. And the, the anomaly is his heir? Yeah. Hmm. This grip. Uh, let me look at it for a second. Uh, looking at the script hidden within the Corvin runes, the Calcateshian, uh, though Fane does not speak it, is it at all comparable to the Calcateshian sand script we saw uh, transcribed in the journal of the old man who went to the Isle of Mana? I know that is hyper-specific, and it's fair if I cannot determine that. But is it the same language? Close. It certainly seems to have the same um, base form. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this all then in the, uh, well, the dialect of the uh, Majitalian people? Uh, this is not written in the dialect of the Majitolian people. Uh, this is written in grass. Grass? Which is... Grass uh, is... Titan? Grass is Dabarak. Dabarak. Yeah. Fuck. Minus one. Sad. Hmm. <laughs> this... Anomaly... Does it coincide with our previous task of going to the east. 
the anomaly will take you closer to your um, to your destination to the east, mm -hmm. but it will it will take you northeast. Is all I can really tell you. Yeah. Uh, it was more act asking Leto, but that's fine. Um, oh, like no. That's yeah. that's where the destination is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. It's an odd occurrence. This clip one obviously not native here. One of my home, uh, well, close to it. Um, <coughs> concerning. And it seemed quite dangerous to blindly follow something shown by eyes of the force that almost killed you. Dangerous, maybe important, perhaps even more so. I mean, look at him, it's almost unrecognizable. Mm. That's what the influence will do to you if you're not, and yet you are not wrong in like huh? indeed. There are different facets to strength. If, if this anomaly and our task and the druidic history coincide, uh, Caspian, I fear I may have to request that you seek audience with Wode once more. If it is a dreamborn anomaly, as we have seen elsewhere, um, his guidance and maybe his shepherding might be necessary to successfully do this. I was going to make a report anyway. This is general detail, I suppose. What, did, what is it that you wish me for me to ask? Mm. For knowledge? Mm. Protection. Knowledge, as we have seen, is a double-edged blade. I trust in our capabilities to solve these issues. And I trust in your eyes to comb them. But this transport and this spell have ended Archdruid after Archdruid. It would do us well to have a shield against its difficulty. I will do what I can, but I've been lax in tending to the faith. The Divine Brothers' influence in this land is afraid for eating. They have many concerns. Their protection the best uh, I believe that can be offered might be me but I will pray upon it I will ask I have much to report back already understood hmm. we still have tasks to fulfill and items to collect we cannot pursue this anomaly on a quickened schedule as much as it may aid us. But if it coincides with what we are already attempting within the East, then it does little harm to inquire to it. It may be important, and even more so, I will say this. Concerning, for what we seek is at the end of our path. I do not know if we have wise to rush to it yet. We will see. We will. Hmm. Um, Urchford, I would advise patience on this matter. Uh, I have a day or two to finish my preparations and then I will sit with you. We will meditate on these things, we will look them over, but carefully. 
there is a patience needed for this despite its urgency. I would not see you burnt out like so many before you. You see the Archdruid kind of... If he is listening, it's it's half-heartedly. He's kind of like... His mind's fading in and out. Mm -hmm. Time slips away. Each moment. Each moment. Mm. If you feel that it is this urgent, I will make said play at the night. I can utilize the cavern of flames you possess. The connection is stronger. Perhaps we can glean more. Indeed. Uh, I will gather what learnings I must do, and I will bring them here. And I will study within the sanctum. Should uh, urgency arrive, uh, Caspian, I will deliver onto you ascending with the shadow so that you may gather the others and meet me here. I will prepare my prayers and in the later hours I will speak them. Understood. Ah. Hmm. Fane sort of turns and looks at Mazakin for a second and shakes his head. Fine. Um, let us go and then I will return to this chamber. Uh, Frosus, I would ask that you stay here. Same idea as I have just spoken with Caspian about. If anything causes alarm, notify me. Understood? Yay! Okay, Finn, no problem. Thank you, friend. Come. There is work to be done. Just one person believes in you. <laughs> God damn. God, there's so much here. And well, he got his fucking brain scrambled, bro. Yeah. Well, he, he looks like he's seen stuff, which he did. Jesus Christ. All right. So, what do you guys want to do? Uh, I will go uh, purchase scrolls, etc., for the spells I'm learning, and bring them all back to this chamber, and sort of study keeping an eye on him. It seems his mind is sort of split, so I figure I'll be able to just kind of passively do that. If possible. Sure. I don't have much to do. I'll join you. Uh, I'm fighting. Yeah. I guess I'm just chilling throughout the city. I don't have anything to do. Oh. That's only for Wilhelm to do. Gather all our consumables and start to portion them out. <laughs> and bring them back to this chamber. Little little, uh, little, little Willy salutes and goes to do the job that he's been jacked with. Yeah. Okay, let's do it then. <laughs> Let me fucking write something. Dun -dun 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 -dun. My enemy. Yeah, we are uh, on 200 ping, so we might talk over each other a little. Hmm. Yeah. Just for people to be a little bit aware. Oh. Um. Oh, Caspian and Mace had like a little bit there that sounded like <laughs> uh, more mm -hmm. tense than usual. Just because of ping, like interrupting, that's all. Did it, not it ain't your fault. Yeah, well, you hear it normally and then you hear her. We hear the, the delivery at the same time. Mm hmm. Oh, because the internet. I mean, I could yeah. set it back if we think that. Uh, I think it will be fine. Okay, let me uh, set it back then we, for you. Yeah, we can try. Do you... Ew. 
Hey, what's up? Uh, oh, it still works. Well, there we go. Much better. Only 109 ping. 130 ping. 91. Bang. 300. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I sent you a few of mine. Yeah, that, that was me when we were in Brazil. It was 200. That's why I was like, mm, I'm not going to speak much. Yeah, but everyone had 200, I think. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, everyone but Simon. Oh. But yeah. Uh, we have Simon here as well. Yeah, he spoke yeah. a second. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Alright, good. I, I think know. we're good to go. I mean, what are we doing first? My stuff doesn't need to be on screen, so. Well. No. What even is so? You need to do your your dream stuff. Uh, Wilhelm's gathering consumables. Those two are fucking. I oh. Hmm. Yeah, but before uh, Wilhelm leaves, Fane will call it. Um, please notify Simon and Elsie of the potential accelerated timeline. I don't know what they were busy with, but... Yes, you go tell them. He will nod slowly and turn around and go... Go to the... Yes, go, go find them and tell them first. Let's get it over with. Don't worry, the wet flooring is not the worst you find there. You really don't want to take off your shoes this time. <laughs> yeah, he knows. You definitely don't look towards the ceiling. Yeah, it's on purpose. <laughs> it's on purpose. It's on purpose. No, <laughs> no. I said dominance. The anomaly. Okay. So I guess we'll do your thing there, um, Darzu, with Caspian. Okay. You wish to commune with Wode. Oh. Okay. Can we go on green? For darkness. You travel beneath the city of glass to the shadowy chamber of the cavern. You walk towards its center and enter a meditative pose. As you do, as you have done before, you will enter a dogmatic chant and from it you will feel your mind open to the world between. Give me a prayer. He sort of as his mind settles and opens the blame. He begins his prayer uh, with a steady tone. Oh Lord, Lord of Nightmare, Suffering Sage. The other words, O servant. I come to you burdened with the weights of paths I have walked, paths that tread the line between comprehension and madness. My journey led me alongside others, company bound by shared purpose, though not my own. This is the first report I make. Together, we stepped where mortal minds should never wander. Through their guidance, we uncovered truths that lay in time's shadow. Truths of a place where boundary, the boundaries of reality fly. A place that reveals not only what is, but what has been, and what might yet be. There I stood, we stood, at the edge of something. Perhaps it was the edge of 
creation, time, I do not know. A place of convergence where echoes of countless wills collide. The weight of it lingers still, though I will bear it for as long as you deem fit. I learned of ancient errors, of ambition that fractured the balance, and of powers that refused to die, even in the face of a purpose fulfilled. I saw evidence of cycles long past where fail and sacrifice burned like scars across the memory of this world. Yet I remain resolute. My faith in your wisdom is unshaken, and my purpose given by your will is my guiding star. I will not speak further, unless it is your will. For some revelations are burdens. Was the bear. Now for the second report I make. Though this place is distant and the ties to your presence are strained, I still call for you, for I have never wavered. The dream remains even if its master's distant. And if you or your brother own can lend your will here, I will use what you bestow with care and resolve. See, a magic has been uncovered, a path tied to the dream yet unknown in its nature. Fain asks that I seek your protection, and though I know it is not your way to shield us from the trials we must endure, I ask for strength and clarity. Let the connection to the dream guide me. Let the fear I hold close grant me wisdom, and the light of the eye within reveal what must be seen. If I must be the agents of blame in this place, so be it. Whatever you can give, I will bear with devotion. Amen. Faith check, D20 plus 5. In the shadows you receive the following response. Not with words, but with visions. The visions are painted in black and grays. You see Leto pointing towards the parchment he had shown you. You see flashes, a cold, mountainous region, an unnatural chill covering the area. A cottage. Within it, the shadow of a man with antlers upon his head. You see the figure point. You see the stone of the mountain. The steps of a church, broken, forgotten. And there flashes prismatic light. Caspian's eyes open. Okay. And that as well. There we go. In that case, uh, as he awakens, uh, noting down the sights he saw of the mountains, uh, He will quietly mother before fully exiting the set of meditation. Thank you for your guidance. And then he will stand.
Okay, you have returned. The others wish to continue their shopping and other preparations. Yes? Yep. Okay. Yep. Oh, uh, small bit of logistics. What's the uh, carry weight uh, calculation again? Because uh, I know how noodle rooms. So. It's 80 plus your vigor. Uh, does that go into the negative? If you have negative vigor, yes, it counts. Uh, so I have minus 3, I have minus 2. So you have 60 carrying capacity. 60, yeah. Uh, I have 18 rations on me, someone else can carry. It's 80 plus your vigor, okay? Yeah. Whoa, uh, I your guess. vigor times 10. Vigor times 10, yeah, yeah. Plus 2, plus 2, plus 4, 40. So I have a 120 carrying capacity, yep. Yeah. Yep. Hey, hey, little Willy. Yeah, 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 I'll, 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 I'll carry that stuff. <laughs> yeah, Please little take little. these. Thank you. Yeah. Give it to the, little, to the little weak halfling. Ugh. Brother, I I was <laughs> overweight. I, I added potions to my inventory, and I went above my carry capacity. I was like, "Oh no!" Oh, oh yeah, for the wait. Don't we have people for that? Don't we have people for that? Uh, <laughs> that we <would> pay. <laughs> uh, they're not just pack mules, but they can be used as such. I have taken the stuff out of the loot pool that I want. Um. I will give whatever money I have left over uh, towards the fund of keeping or hires. Uh, so we can have like three months of payment done for them, ideally. And they'll worry about it way in the future. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's see. I mean, logistics wise. What do we have? All of this? Yeah. That's what I would like to have. It's okay with people. Of course, I, I don't know English. Of course. That's nothing new. Mm -hmm. Uh, somebody can feel free to take some of the gliders. I already have three in my pockets uh, from previous. Uh. They don't need to just sit there and go to waste. Uh. Yeah. I will can... put my hand forward and pick up, uh, I'd say, three of the potions of purging. Uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I was just gonna say we can just do this out of session because it's not. Really I mean, if like... we're going, if we go to the anomaly, you know. mm. now, we don't know when uh, the archer will oh. maybe have a point where we need to leave, which is why I'm trying to do this now. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Then if, um, if that's the if that's the case, then yeah. yeah. I'll also pick up a glider. One greater, uh, greater purging or healing. Uh, purging. I have free healing already. Yep. Uh, what is your Royal of Wrath to you again? Uh, 1d6 fire damage and weapon attacks for one minute. I don't know what it takes to apply. Probably an action. Yeah, I think everything, I think every potion and stuff is an action unless you have something that says otherwise. Yeah. Mm. Yep. I mean, stealth check, Oil of Wrath is a fine turn. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh. Mm. Uh, uh, it wouldn't be as good on me, though. Unless it's it, on the chain, which... Yeah. Uh, can Simon put an Oil of Wrath in his uh, rapier? 
because uh, it has the alchemical priming or whatever it's called. Yeah. Yeah. So could he like uh, mess with the action economy if he already has it inside the weapon? Like, how, how does that work mechanically? What do you mean? Like, uh, priming is like uh, the poison one, right? Where you have charges inside the weapon and you yeah. expend them as you hit. If he has an oil of wrath in the rapier and he hits, does he get the full minute of the oil of wrath effect? Yeah. Okay, so Ka so Colossus should out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. That's very cool. Excellent. There's one. Oh. Uh, what it does exactly? Uh, it adds 1d6 fire damage to your weapon attacks with that weapon for one minute. Uh, oh, that's pretty good. Do you want to take the other greater purging, pur purging potion? Purging potion, uh, Simon? Yeah, give it to me. Yeah. Because I have a lot of exposure management myself, so... Am I good to go? Can I add those? Uh, give me one second. I'm, I'm adding everybody's stuff and making sure we don't have, like, one person with too many things. Uh... That is actually in or math. One superior, one heroism. That's Mazakin stuff added, doing LTs now. You guys got your um, logistics figured out? Uh, just about done. Okay. Mm. Um, that's what we got so far. Five, eight, twelve. The purgings are done. Let me do it this way. Does anyone still have greater purging in the inventory? Yeah. Can you send me one? Uh, yeah, wait a second. Doing something, but I will in just a moment. Thank you. We should also give our uh, hirelings potions. What? Mm. Uh, I don't know what they have currently. Uh, so we have... Da, 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 uh, I think Wilhelm should take the third uh, superior. I will. I will just do a little thing. I will just sell my regular half plate to to free a lot of space. <laughs> now I got a new because now I got a new armor, so I don't need the regular one. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, will you take the last uh, superior healing, Venom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I'll I'll, um, I'll, I'll, ta I'll take whatever you guys want me. I, I just need to free 40, 40 fucking pounds of carrying capacity. Uh, we have this left. Is is that okay? Okay, then for can I just sell a, a regular half plate? Yeah, you can sell anything you want at half market value. Okay, half market value. So that's. Oh well, um. Then we get bonuses when, from yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was about to say. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You get the thirty percent differential, so it's uh, at eighty percent uh, market value. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just check. So eighty percent of fifty is forty, right? Yeah, it's forty gold. Yeah. So you are sold for forty gold pieces. Oh yeah, yeah. Now, now my carrying capacity looks so much better. Oh. Yeah, I think someone should take the remove curse. Probably Elsie, because she's our fastest. Mm. Uh, Can't argue with that. Yeah, you, you take the remove curse, and we'll distribute the ten leftover healing potions to our hirelings. Mm -hmm. That's good. Uh, 
And then Caspian Shadows are our next little, little point of order. Um, so many spells. I mean, that's just easy enough. You just drop what you want in Shadow, and that's fine. Uh... Uh, the... uh, I already have ascending. Um, where to put my shadow here? Ba -ba -ba -ba. There's one more in here. Where is it? What's uh, the limitations on that? Is it any two spells? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. There's no limitation on that. Uh, any spell, but uh, if you take a concentration, he cannot concentrate. T two of his concentration spells can't exist within a mile of each other. Okay. Uh, when they're cast this way, they're considered soft cast. Yeah, they mm -hmm. are soft cast. Uh... Um. Yeah, bomb. Also note that we can make countermeasures for it, as such as uh, just generally just not uh, casting spells uh, out of the shadows in front of spellcasters will and nilly. Uh, uh, they can be dispelled with one Desma magic, but if we have counter spell up and that kind of stuff, then it's not a worry. Yeah, yeah speaking of, that's what I would like. I'd like an emergency uh, exposureless heal. I already have sending and counter spell. Yep. Mm. I'm gonna mm, take your wound then. Or healing word, I guess, better. Healing warden. Inflict wounds again. <laughs> she said mm. healing warden. <laughs> healing warden. Healing warden. Healing warden. Don't mind me, I'm clapping like an idiot. <laughs> I'm clapping, I'm clapping. Uh. Please no, and he's and he's right back bathroom. Laughing too hard, please. For any of the spells I cast, uh, the modifier for, for example, uh, this plus six for the uh, for the 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 base wisdom bonuses to the spells if it's uh. Yeah, but well, that's about it. Because it is as if I cast that spell, so... Uh... No. Uses his both fires. That was up to date, though. I think I used the healing word. Uh, yeah, it's one higher, I think, now. Yeah. Wait, how many, hmm. how many spells can we have in our shadows? Two? No limit, but they can all be dispelled with single dispel magic. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, yeah... Oh! I'll get an emergency one here. Yeah. And... You never know when you can get one. Uh, yeah. You have removed curse, right? Yeah. Not prepared, but I can prepare it in the worst cases. Uh... Hmm. If we really need it, it can be prepared, but... You can't prepare it, put it in the shadow, and then unprepare it, right? I can. It just takes a day, so... Or it takes a long rest. So it's nice. fine, I can do it, but, uh... It's... Yeah, it's not really a problem. It's probably fine. Uh, all of you should also add the Shadow of Sending. Uh, just make note of it. No. All right. I will type it in my character sheet. I am a journal. How many do we have here? I'll see if I have to accumulate any exposure for this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine. No need. I can do that throughout the days with the hours I have. Spells in shadow. When did I get a Okay. Simon, you already had in your shadow the spiritual weapon, so you can also add the sending. Uh, oh, that's right, yeah. I'm back. Welcome back. You're back. If those are all the requests, then yeah. Uh, I'm at least done with my m malleable portion of the downtime. Hmm. Okay. Everybody locked in, ready to go then? Yep. Uh, yep. yep. My downtime would still be uh, split between researching the Barrow King's court and then doing uh, upholding my for Simon, the unfunty songs. Okay, let's do some research then. Aye, aye. Uh, one per day, so I'll just expand the uh, first soul mastery each time. Nothing that day. I'm free. To clarify, what are you um trying to learn about the Barrow King's Court precisely? Uh, procedures, anything to do with uh, proper ways to greet the Barrow King, uh, anything in history that would be relating to uh, downfall or anything similar like that, I, aka things we should avoid doing in his company. Stuff like that. You have sufficiently researched um, the etiquettes of old Corbin that you believe that you'd be able to speak properly before the Barrow King's court. You learn the intricate dance of curtsies, bows, honorifics, and other such things required. Excellent. And the rest of my downtime, I will focus on the any song for Anvanti for Simon. Okay. Yeah. One again. Twenty. Negative. <coughs> Two. Negative. One again. Roll again? No, hold on. Okay. Cover a Let's see. 
you uncover a central hymn, a chant used in nearly all aspects of Aunt Vanti culture. It is used not only before one begins a feast, before one gives homage to the spirits. It is called Antares. Hope I said that right. Antares. Okay. Once I get enough notes on it, I'll share it with Simon, along with anything else I've learned while I was gleaning it. Hmm, is this what you're kind of looking for, Simon? Hmm. Probably, yes. Supposed to be a... You're not... Supposed to be the key. One it's, of them. Essentially what it is, it is a series of chords that are shared between all Anvanti music. Oh, yeah. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a center piece of music. Uh, the best way I could describe this is, um, you know what the four chords are? For pop music. You know what that is? No. <laughs> oh, well, it's, it's essentially a center melody. Mm hmm. Okay. So I can learn that. that. Hmm. Or I can try to it's investigate the... What? Or I can try to investigate more about the... For, uh, for the sake of explaining what I mean... Uh, this is for you, Simon. Mm -hmm. These are the four chords. Uh, the progression that's found at the center of almost all popular music. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's a real thing. So. I'm a big fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, maybe I can use this. <clears throat> Leans in. And uh, in addition to that, um, those are the representation of the four chords of creation. Wink. Yeah. Mm, very nice. Because it's four... all math! Yeah. There's four song blades, right? And then there's like the fifth hidden blade. There is. There are four normal song blades, and mm -hmm. then the fifth naughty one. Yeah. It's true, it sounds so, I might take it. Which is also the uh, number of ambition. Yes. Stop it! Stop it! It all works! Stop it! Very cool. <laughs> thank you. And my toes, thank you. Powerful. Mm. Uh, mm. So maybe I can do a song with these chords. At the very least, if I can't find a song relating to her, I should be able to make one. If it's in the proper tradition and style, then in that case, maybe able to do something. I don't know, I didn't really get much into music back at Pale City. Hmm. Uh, it's very complex, but I, I still I still don't see the the way to free the engine. I'll keep looking. I expect you hold up your end of the bargain then. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. 
I did so much, Roy. Indeed. And I'm going to go back to uh, researching your downtime. Unless, any, unless Simon has anything more sad. Mm, not really. No. Need <laughs> more information. Fair enough. Uh, roll again. Hey, not 20. What are you rolling for? Seeing if I can get any more information in regards to songs that would be able to do whatever Sam's asking me of. Negative. That's all you're going to get, Simon. That's all I can see. The Contaras has seems to be the only thing in that library. All right. So, what can I do now, Arcadum? I'm a little lost here. <laughs> well, what are you trying to do, precisely? I'm trying to find the... Well, Dragon said that the answer was in the song. Oh. Yeah. Guess I just have to try everything. <laughs> you should probably actually play some music. Yeah. Yes, I think that's 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 true. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna start. <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe do it. <laughs> you know, maybe actually do mm. that thing. You got the theory. That's the practice. Yes, perhaps a song played at the right place at the right time zooms mm -hmm, yes. in. Yeah. <laughs> Folds up Work. the paper, puts it in your pocket. Oh yeah, that's it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. All in good time. Yeah. I have something small while Elsie's uh, researching. Yeah. Um... I would approach Mr. Lecto and just say, um, Archdruid, there's a smaller matter I would seek your uh, advice on. He will um, look up, his eyes crazed from his <clears throat> constant study. Yes, speak, Fane. Uh, our allies that have provided us with such information are seeking to gather, uh, Councils and information from all major factions. I believe they've already sought out a, a delegation from the rebellion. Is there an advisor or um, perhaps a high-ranking officer that you would trust with this? I believe it is of utmost importance that we have a clear line of communication with them for both this work and for the rebellion as a whole. Politics. Unfortunate, but necessary. You will see that he starts to move his fingers through his hair, thinking. Yeah. Someone well traveled. Explore. Yes. William, perhaps. Hmm. Ah. Good. If that is the task you were giving to him, I would wish to speak with him. Just to inform him of the current uh, political state of that city. Uh, we'll take a brief leave and seek him out. Yarstrud will nod and then go back to his parchments. Uh, I'll pop out, I'll speak to whatever uh, attendants are outside the grove and ask them to send word to uh, summon William here so I can tell him about stuff alrighty a couple hours pass before you see a familiar face 
Mm. Remember him? <laughs> yes. We've met him twice. What a good lad. He will approach. Well then, Fane. How's your cotton? Ah, uh, sure look. Yeah, it could be better, but... We have a lot on our plate. We should be sucking diesel soon. But there's a lot of things uh, happening. And there is a uh, task that the Ertrude has advised that you are most competent for. I would like to speak to you of it as I have some uh, information to impart. He'll raise a single eyebrow. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, it is one of politics. Uh, the rebellion has long held ground and it is obviously seeking to reclaim the lost circles. We've spoken with another adventuring party, one that has established um, a dwarven city and is now operating it as such. It is called Moaz Kadan. It is within the Twisting Pines. I believe when we were traveling with you, we must have crossed not too far from there. Uh, those there are seeking delegates from each major faction of Corvanus. In the attempt to unify them uh, in some part against the greater forces that plague this land. One of which being the Lilinic issues we have. I have asked Erchtrude Lecto to send a competent individual, and I am glad that he has recommended you. There's a few things you should know. First, the city is a neutral ground. It seems that they have already made allies of a small sect of the church itself. A splinter faction, but one that seeks a moderate approach, at least by their own statements. They have a druid in their employ who names himself Arch Druid. While that title is large, he is a competent man. But he is also an undead raised by the magics of the Barrow King and the East. They have succeeded in opening a circle. I do not believe they have reclaimed one that we have lost, but instead planted a seed anew. One that is bound to the dream. I would ask that you oversee their work there. That you listen to the meetings and their messages, but also that you oversee this grove. I know not what potential opening such a thing could do, but I fear for the inexperience of their leader. Mistakes happen, we all know this, but they are treading ambitious ground, and I believe we would be fools not to sit at the table. He'll kind of cross his arms. And then he'll kind of stroke his chin a little bit. But let me get this straight. You want me to go to a dwarvish city and help their druid with the circle? And you want me to speak to them on what exactly? To ensure that their uh, attempts at peace and neutrality remain with the druids in mind. And to ensure that their arch druid uh, does not make folly of our tradition. Oh, I, I get that. Other than the fact of how knackered out I'm going to be trying to get all this done. Are you sure that these Metharians can be trusted? They're all bloody religions, all bang janked out. How are we going to trust anything of what this Splinter Cell says? I don't care how straight up he is. He's still Metharian. I don't intend for us to trust blindly. But I trust in those that are gathering those to the table. 
It is only that we may hear of such things. Reports made. They have given us seeds. He'll produce the acorn. Uh, seeds that may help rebalance what is broken here. They have imparted information on pieces of history that we're barely scratching the surface of. It seems their goal is to balance the underlying issues. That unfortunately includes the disease and corruption that is the Metherians. I have not met this splinter cell, I have not worked with them. I have only the words of a man I have just began to trust. But their information has proven paramount, both to the sickened isle, to the ley lines, to the court of the Barrow King, to presumably the dwarves. Well, ain't that a bit of the pure magic? As he leans forward. Is this even real? They used it to open a grove. Or used one like it. I believe that is evidence enough of its natural potency. The Archdrude Lecto has similarly uh, confirmed its potency. Look, I don't mean to be giving out on you, but the Archdruid's been a bit lacked as of late. I don't know what's going on down there. Feels real manky to me, to be honest. <laughs> it is. It is precisely why I am speaking to you and not him. His obsession with this current problem is one me and mine are working closely with him on. We intend to help fix it. It seems that this lapse in his usual demeanor has plagued his predecessors also. It is my hope to recover such histories in a way that does not leave our leaders lacking. Well, if you really be thinking that I'd be the right man for the job, I'll do what I can. I don't know who these trishites you be talking about are that I gotta go speak to up in some dwarven city. But I'll listen to them. I'll make sure they're on the up and up. Hmm. I... I trust that their movement will aid us in reclaiming groves. I trust that it will stop our men from dying. It I is that simple. I ain't one to trust strangers to keep our men from dying, but... Well, it can't be worse than what we're already doing. How soon do you need me to pop out? Do I got enough time for a few scoops? Aye. Take your time. I will inform them that a proper delegation will be arriving. No kind of nod. Alright then, Fane. I hope you know what you're doing. I'll smile. Ah, shite on me. I'm gonna be up to 90 from all this. Get a few scoops. Ha <laughs> uh. ha! Points. Presses finger into Shamber's forehead. Did you like that? I did. <laughs> I, I did like using the non-canon sucking diesel, particularly. Now we're sucking diesel. Now we're sucking <laughs> diesel. <laughs> uh oh. I will write out a sending to be delivered to Caspian that will be sent to Merlo also to inform him of the uh, Druidic delegation being sent. Because foreigner exposure. Wow. Wow. Alright, so Willie, Willie, S-O-L-A-S-C-O. Uh, 
S O L A C E is on his way. I forgot how to spell Big his name. Williams. <laughs> Big ol' Williams. He's gonna get up to 90 dealing with this shit. Gonna get all <laughs> knackered out. Uh, He's gonna be gone for yonks. Listen. He'll be grand. The road will rise to meet him. Eh? Have a crack of a time. Alright, enough. Enough! <laughs> no more. Nah. I'm, just, I'm just sitting here like what are they say I didn't understand half of that I'm like good because... uh good I suppose convenient enough when you do get the note to me on what the sending you want wanted to be the uh, when you get it to Caspian he will he will speak uh to Fane on the matter previous. Uh, I asked what he wanted. Um, about the protection, though. As I said, the distance is great and the faith is lacking here. Power is limited. Much like we previously discussed about words getting power. There needs to be people for greater influence. But still, a vision has been granted, though I do not I do not dare claim I know what it all means. I suppose, um, it is something. Mm. Though... The exact meaning needs to be pondered. Make of it what you will. Uh, he will hand you a parchment. Uh, mm -hmm. That details... Well, the most of it. The most relevant bits. Uh, He'll open it and start reading. Uh, large shadow, big antlers, like a like a stag, perhaps. <laughs> yes, like a stag. Um, let's see. He will pull out some more notes. Well, this was in response to. Um, most definitely in response to the prayer proper, uh, well, the second portion of it. I do not know what it all means, the chill within the cottage could symbolize the lingering, some lingering corruption, uh, something perhaps out of the land itself, um, the antlered figure. It could represent something to do with the ancients, it could represent something else. Mm. Possibly a guardian, a guide, or even a warning. If it is to do with the ley lines and their presumed anomaly, it is not a leap to say it could be a natural guardian of some kind. Mm. That's what the church will. Often that kind of icon is a mark of something that has been lost. Something sacred that has been lost, desecrated, or left behind. Well. And the light, well. No need to mention the obvious. Hmm. It could do well to research any natural spirits or guardian iconography that matches this description. I don't think we will find much. But it is good that we know a portion of what is coming. The Archerud said the, the anomaly will know. It is possible that this thing is the anomaly itself, or representation I, of it. I don't doubt it, it might be. But I believe that it's our destination, and if we have to take this, well, 
method of travel, that is where we'll end up one way or another. That is what I believe firmly. Hmm. Understood. Thank you for your prayers. It, um, may I say this? It may be a wise undertaking. If even the well, even if Lord Ward has set enough precedent on it, I mean, to show that vision could be quite important. True. Lack of influence does not mean a lack of interest. Yet oh. again, it seems we will act as agents for your deity. If it helps us, if it helps you in your goal, don't think it's so much as acting agent, uh, agent as acting in faith, in good faith towards your own goal, I suppose. Mm. Sure. My wish is to further the influence of the Dream Brothers in this land is just that. This land lacks something critical and I wish to bring it back. Seems that the lacking of these circles of dreams have done much pain. What is a land without communication? Just a land with cities. Da -da 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 -da. Here, uh, take this. <laughs> He'll hand you over and up. Uh, mm -hmm. When you have the opportunity and your mana allows it, uh, please send this by via sending to Merlo. I told him that we would uh, secure a honest delegation from the rebellion. You know, just leading over the note before casting the sending. It's been done. Good. Still. <laughs> we should get back to the Earth Screw, or at least I should. Time is running short. My studies are almost done. I might as well be there. I don't have much material to carry with me anymore. He will sort of shake a book. Then we'll... Oh. What do you both think of the Archdruid now? He's clearly mm. not as he was before. Is he even fit to make those decisions now anymore? He almost seems mad. He is poisoned by a well too pure for him to drink from. I hardly think that you, he'll look down at your hands, particularly should be criticizing one for undergoing change. Yes. We mm. saved him. I'm not, I'm not zoning out, muttering to myself, fixated on one thing alone. You know... There's power in their madness, but this particular kind might be aimless. There is, as you already know, Stomazakin, the god of madness that has most likely reached these lands. Well. Though his methods are most distasteful. I believe the Archdroid's madness is something that springs from... Well, as Fane said, it's the result of trying to tamper in something you don't quite have the power to tamper with. Either that, or the residue of the color. Mm -hmm. Hello, Wilhelm. Oh, I finally finished. That took a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Still. Why did it take so long? Usually you can find them pretty easily. Uh, well, at least. He, um, little legs and they were um, <clears throat> busy. 
understood. Mm. Mm. Either way. But consider of that what you will, Thane. Um, I say we need to look into this. Uh, I agree. Uh, I think trust is a loose thing. We should take the warnings and the requests of him under careful advisement. Hence why uh, Caspian communing with his deity was relevant. He is still a powerful man, if a bit scattered. A bit. Besides, his mind may yet sort of turn if um, we and I should dig something out of this. Would you like this... me to try and find out? What? Surely there's something you can do to see on what's going on in his head? No hmm. need. If, even if we pry, we will find the rambling. Hmm. I would hmm. ask Frosus, but I fear for his safety. If his mind is on the colors, then reading his mind might have the same kind of adverse infractions. Why is he speaking of the anomaly all of a sudden? Maybe they're walking into a bigger problem once again. Hmm. Honestly, I don't know. honestly, I believe them to be relevant to each other. We are seeking the East to uncover what it was that the Reminders cared for, or are caring for. And it has to do with the Leylinic issues, an anomaly derived from the convergence of such. We might be doing things in an order that is unexpected, but one surely relates to the other. Oh, or could it be another reminder? The task remains the same. I personally believe this is the proper order of the things. Before we confront whatever lays where it all began, we should get to the bottom of this. Remember, we know that in the court, it is, that is where it all started, where the first vegan culture wrong happened. Well, then again, <clears throat> he is acting rather weird, and people are noticing. Yes. So I... if the ghost completely plays it. We don't want all your bureaucracy to crumble apart. Hmm. I intend to uh, seek out Amiria Cantertails. She was acting as an administrative aide for one of the druids on the council. Perhaps there is somebody that will stand in his stead in the interim. Or perhaps the council will shield his madness from the people, and their bureaucracy will remain stale. It is better than them marching forward under poor advisement. We have done what we can. You know that's how it was in the public eye. The man doesn't really come out of the tree much, does he now? It's already <laughs> the council making the call to do things. He just needs William time. Just give, him, just give him time. It's been... It hasn't been even a few a few weeks since, like, even a few days since all that happens. Just give him time. He needs rest. He'll be back. I don't think he's gonna get much rest. He seems rather restless, you know? Hmm. It's like he's actually he... Hmm. he will not rest until we have completed this undertaking. Yeah. Is this what they would call ambition? It is. We must be careful not to follow it blindly. Alright. So. 
Diamond and Elsie finish their escapades. Him. Yes. All right. What's the party's decision? Uh, yeah, finish downtime, pursue the anomaly. After gathering our two hirelings. Okay. Yeah. Get your hirelings. Hirelings gathered. Oh god. I forgot about him. <laughs> <laughs> what no. do you mean? <laughs> so is Auntie. Oh. Uh, when we gather them... Do I find to like give them a quick brief? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And when we gather them... Uh, Fane will look over their equipment, make sure they're all, you know, uh, prepped before speaking. Ship shape. Good. Uh, so, Zanti, Amelia, thank you. Thank you for arriving. <sighs> There's a lot ahead of you, and of all of us. This task is a ambitious one. There is disturbances in the ley lines here, as I'm sure you are well aware. And our goal, coinciding with the Archdruid, is to seek out solutions. We are going to travel through some unor unorthodox methods and pursue what we believe to be an anomaly that isn't present in other lands. Do either of you have issue with this? Let's shake their heads. Secondly, uh, this party has access to arsenals of fighting and of existing that are unorthodox. Understand that we act honestly where possible. Despite the appearance of some. And thirdly, we are happy to have you on board. This will be a defining moment for this country. And I hope in having a part of this that you too can also strive to reach your goals. They will look at each other, and they'll both nod. Good. Follow us through to the Archroods chambers. And this time we set off. And a baby. All right, and so the party gathers themselves up. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Stand before Archdruid Lecto. He will look up, his eyes yet still crazed. Come, it is time, yes? Yes. Yes. He'll hold the parchment up. Seek the anomaly. Find the truth that I cannot see. Heal that which is broken. Look through the stained glass. And with that, you will see magic start to swirl around the archdruid. It pulses through the scroll. The leaves, the trees, the winds, the fire, all of it, all around him, begins to echo and shift 
as he summons forth this magic. You hear the sound of distant howls. You feel the icy, bitter touch of wind. Until finally, the magic fades. And you find yourself somewhere new. Thus, find yourselves here. Putting this man. Everybody loaded? Yes. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. The icy cold bite of the wind. Snow drifts through your hair. Ahead of you, you see a cabin. A cabin surrounded by old swampland, frozen over by an unnatural chill, hidden in old willow trees, cracked and petrified. Caspian feels mm. a very strange, familiar feeling coming from ahead. The shadows shift as if to beckon him forward. As he steps up towards the threshold, the shadows part. And what is inside will have to be found next time on Bound and Broken. My enemy. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Very cool. Good session, guys. Hell oh, yeah. That was oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, it was so good. It's good to be back. Yeah, yeah, we can all we we, we can, We're back. Look, we can all agree yeah. that the Simon LC part was the best part, right? We can all agree <laughs> about that. That was crazy. I was just trying to fucking... Hey, what is going on, Colossus? You're losing power, you lose internet, like, oh my god. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. The power, the powers that be are just shutting him down. All righty, uh, that is where I will call it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Do we have any fan art? I'm sure. Does not uh, appear so. Yeah, well, that's the moment. So. I, don't, I don't see anything. Okay. All righty, sounds good to me. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for supporting the channel. I will see you guys in... Uh, Two hours. About, about an hour and 45 minutes for Gates and Guardians. See you then, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye, chat. Bye-bye, chat. Don't forget to subscribe to the OnlyFans. <laughs> Please.